What's up, my nuggets? Mr. Phantasmo here, and I'm sorry if my voice sounds a little off. I seem to have, I seem to have come down with a bit of a sore throat, so um, I don't know why. Uh, I really don't know why. Personally, I feel like um, if have you has have your parents ever like uh, if you if you've gotten a canker sore or like. You know that little that sore on your tongue. Have they? Have your parents ever been like? You go to your parents and you're like, "Um, mom, I have a canker sore on my tongue," and she's just like, "Well, that's because you lie too much," or something like that. That there's no possible way that you lying could make your tongue have a sore on it. But she says that just to just to get in your head and just to just to like somehow try and subliminally make you a better kid because she's like I know this kid is lying so I'm just gonna tell him that if he stops lying he'll stop having these random canker sores on his on his on his uh, on his tongue has, has, your, has your mom ever done that to you of course my dad just said it's cuz you're licking too many butts son and I was like oh shoot dad I'm sorry you're right that made more sense to me than 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 lying I just don't I just don't understand but um anyways I feel like this sore throat, um, I, I, I feel like I have the same symptoms, and I feel like I think this sore throat is coming from something that I did earlier today, because this is later in the day. I, uh, I have developed this sore throat, like, throughout the day, and I think it's because of something that I did earlier this morning, and then, and then, uh, even though it, it has no, nothing at all to do with, with my throat in general, I think it's just, I think it's just the world's way of getting back at me because well I'll just tell I'll just tell you what happened and then you can you can take one piece and piece B and put it together and then maybe you can maybe you can decipher the same thing that I'm that I'm trying to trying to get at so I was in class today and first of all I went to class and it, there were maybe half of the half of the people showed up today in class which is weird because it's a six-week class over the summer um, you know, you have you have an exam every two weeks, so it's it's not a class that you really want to miss. And normally, like nobody misses the class, like everybody shows up. And for some reason, this random Wednesday, only half the class decided to show. Like literally, when I walked in, because I got there a little bit early, there were like five people there, and I was like, oh shoot, this is uh, class got canceled today, and I just wasted my time uh, driving all the way here. Um, but it turns out class wasn't canceled, and for whatever reason, um, I've had that happen one one other time in, in one of my classes where where it's just like one day that everybody decided not to show up, except for I was in that one day, and I decided not to show up that one day because the next day when I came back, my teacher was like, "Oh well, uh, there were like half of you that didn't even show up yesterday," and I was like, "That was weird. She's lying." But now I know that she probably wasn't, and that that maybe that stuff happens all the time I don't know anyways regardless it just started out it just started out creepy I knew it was gonna be a creepy class even though the thing that happened wasn't creepy but you know it, it, it doesn't matter so anyways I was a sitting class everything was fine we were learning about rocks and we were learning about like tidal waves and and ocean ocean layers and all this stuff and then out of all out of the blue, and I was a little tired because it was it's an early class. Like I go there at nine in the morning, so I'm a little I'm normally a little out of it. I don't know, it just you know, rocks can be real fascinating, but I tend to I tend to start to uh, lose interest and and doze off and think about other things. So I'm just sitting there thinking about this, that, and the other, and all of a sudden, I swear to you, I hear a dog bark. It was like, Rrr! and I was. And and then obviously that that snapped me out of my uh, my little thing that I had going on, and I and I kind of looked around for a second, and I was like, did no and nobody nobody else was nobody else responded, nobody else reacted like anything happened, and so I was like, okay, I'm officially going crazy. Like, is this a dream? Like, because only half the people in my class are here, and now nobody is acknowledging the fact that there is a dog barking in the class. So I'm like looking around, like maybe it was maybe it was take your dog to work day. I don't know. Um, so I'm looking around, looking around. I don't see anything. So I'm like, okay, whatever, whatever. It's fine. Uh, and I go back to I go back to type my notes because 
Um, I'm like one of the only, I'm like one of the only people in this geology class that brings their laptop, or I guess maybe even has a laptop to to type notes on. But um, I don't know. I'm just weird like that. I don't I don't see the point in in uh, writing down notes. Actually, I kind of do see the point in writing down notes because I feel like uh, I kind of I kind of tend to remember them a little bit better when I when I write them down. But uh, it also takes really long to write down notes, and and you know my fingers they get sore. That's the thing. Ever since I have uh, come to college where taking notes on a on a on a laptop is an option. Anytime, even if I'll have like an essay um, exam where it's just like two like I've had multiple essays where it's just like two or multiple exams where it's just two huge essays. That's all you, you and that's all you write. And then I get like the little the little sore on your finger. You know, I guess it would be the middle finger. I don't know. Maybe depending on how you write. Some people write, like, at weird angles, but, um, but yeah, and I get, like, the little sore, like, I used to get, uh, in high school when I would be writing for, like, hours on end, now I get that if I write for, like, 20 minutes, I get it, so, so that's why I use my, I use my laptop, um, in case you really wanted to know, but I'm sure you didn't, so anyways, I was just chilling on my laptop, and there, and then it happened again, and I just happened to look over, at the culprit and it was not a dog it was it was the smallest tiniest little girl in our class i don't i guess it's i guess it's kind of rude calling her a girl she was a young woman because she's in uh she's in a college class but it was this little little woman and she was just sitting there and she when she sneezed she literally sounded like a bloodhound that was that was trying to trying to instigate a fight with a groundhog or something that's that's literally what what it, it was a synonymous sound. I've heard both of those sounds in my life, and they sounded exactly the same. And I couldn't help myself, and I busted up laughing. And I I I I've never done that in my entire life. Usually, I can keep my laughs under wraps, but that was just it was hilarious. It was hilarious that her sneeze sounded like it. First of all, I had never heard anybody sneeze like that, and second of all. I would have never expected a person like her. Usually, those little girls... Oh, God, I keep calling her a little girl. I'm, I'm so sorry. You know, they go like, Akoo! Akoo! Or something like that. But this this girl literally sneezed and, and was like... Ooh. And I, was, I just... I couldn't, I couldn't hold it in. And so, obviously, I'm the only one laughing. And obviously, everyone has turned and looked at me by now. And I'm just... I just looked at my computer. I just looked at my computer and kept laughing. And I tried to make it seem like... Because I would rather them think that I was looking up a stupid video on the internet than laughing at this laughing at this lady that has just sneezed. But I can't believe nobody else... Oh, God. Oh, my God. My, my microphone just started to tumble onto my keyboard and I saved it. Hopefully that wasn't too loud for you guys. Um, I did see the audio level spike a little bit, but my my microphone. <laughs> this is what I get for being lazy and doing a commentary on my on my bed on my mattress. It must not be a uh, Serta mattress or whatever kind of mattress that is that you can put a wine glass on and jump up and down. What can I say? I like a little softness in my mattress. Um, but yeah, okay. So, anyways, before before I just break my computer, uh, I think I'll get off here. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's commentary, and uh, hopefully, this I don't know how long the punishment is for laughing at a uh, bloodhound sneeze or uh, or whatever. So I might have the sore throat tomorrow. Hopefully not. Um, this is also kind of deterring me from maybe streaming tonight. So I don't know if I'll stream tonight, uh, but I probably still will. Uh, so yeah, go ahead and uh, tune in the stream tonight if you want, and I will see you guys later. Peace, Nuggets.